Okay, hello everybody, this is Raccoon Sam speaking from the Spriteless Resource and uh, today I'm going to show you how to rip sprites from the game Metroid Fusion. It's for the Game Boy Advance and uh, uh, yeah, the thing is the game is pretty easy to rip sprites from for some reason. The sprites are nicely aligned and uh, I thought it would be great to have a little tutorial video how to rip them. Now I'm using a Mac OS X right here. It's my operating system but it doesn't matter because Time Molester is a cross-platform tool and available for Windows and Linux and whatever you're using. And uh, yeah, uh, I already assume that you know how to use Time Molester in general like navigating, scrolling down, shifting the canvas and shifting the pixels and uh, the thing is we're gonna find some enemy or general character sprites somewhere around here now mm, let's take uh, I don't know this looks pretty interesting uh, does it? I don't know well let's take this now first off you're gonna adjust the canvas to a little bit bigger, I don't know, maybe 32 as you can see and uh, adjust uh, the pixels so it's aligned perfectly no one pixel gaps like this so, oops, yeah, like that and uh, yeah, right here let's just make it a little bit shorter and uh, now as you can see the garbage right here those little lines end right now and uh, let me zoom in uh, there's still a little bit of garbage right here so uh, if we make it a little bit shorter again we have a full page of nothing but graphics if we go back there's that junk and if we go forward there's that junk but right now all we have is the graphics and that's what we want no garbage now don't select anything if you do uh, time molester will screw up it's a common bug uh, I don't know how it's fixable but if you select something the colors will be screwed up unless you have the right palette and we're gonna get the right palette right now the thing is, the palettes are stored right below the graphics, right here. If this is the graphics, that right there is the palette. So we're gonna naturally go palette, import from this file and put the offset here. But uh, the offset is represented in hexadecimal 33FF08 and uh, we're gonna ask Google how to convert that to decimal so 0033 uh, FF08 FF08 in decimal uh, you gotta use a 0x prefix so it understands it's a hexadecimal unit Google search okay it's 3,407,624 so again palette import from uh, what was it 3407 3407 624 624 and the size 9999999 and uh, Byte order is Intel and format is 15 bits per pixel red, green, blue. Okay. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. The thing is, I just put the graphics offset, not the palette offset. So, we go to the point where the palette garbage starts, which is 340F08. So let's ask again. Three four 
zero f zero eight in decimal search so it's three four eleven seven twenty three four eleven seven hundred and twenty okay and now we have the right palettes isn't it beautiful just look at it it's got all the sub palettes this is probably used for these things and uh, this is used for the dude itself and uh, these are garbage palettes so what we're gonna do now is copy all of this edit copy and we're gonna go to the end of the ROM which is called the playground to the very end as you can see it's a pretty big area that has no nothing absolutely nothing in it so it's a great place for doing this kind of stuff so uh, yeah first part is naturally erasing the X things I don't know what they're called but let's call them X's get rid of the X's and uh, once you do uh, yeah start your assembly Metro Fusion sprites are stored in little chunks like these so it's not a very difficult task trip sprites and uh, yeah just don't make it too you know uh, don't just copy this and save as a PNG because that would be a bit too easy of a job so uh, yeah that's how it works just go to the find the sprites find the palette import the palette go to playground and rip the sprites as simple as that now I'm gonna just do the blinking animation and uh, then I think I'm good to go okay Here's the body, and here are the jaws for the similar sprite. Okay, looking good. And the explosion sprites for this thing, or fire, or whatever this is. Once you're done, do your assembly in a neat way so it doesn't take up too much space and uh, erase the little parts like this oh yeah and then uh, you can just choose it and copy it to the desktop I don't care purple okay and the other palette uh, green okay and uh, yeah that's basically it now you should have uh, have a purple and a green image file right here just open them up, them up in paint or photoshop or whatever and uh, make it so that these are purple and these are green. All the sprites in Metroid Fusion work this way, so just find the point where the graphics end and the garbage starts and import the part from there. Have fun! <laughs>